guys. I have a lot to catch you up on. This is my first video coming back to my channel where I feel like most of you probably already know the news, but I am pregnant. We're having a little baby. I am currently a few days away from being 15 weeks pregnant. So I'm out of my first trimester and we told you guys on Instagram and also on our joint channel. But I'm thinking if you don't follow either of those, you might not know. So surprise, pregnant, got a little baby over here and I have some other things to catch you up on as well because I also cut and dyed my hair yesterday. As you can see, I, I went a lot lighter than I was before. I'm still getting used to it. I feel like this is actually the biggest change I've ever made in my hair because I did cut it shorter than, I don't know, I think this is the shortest I've ever gone. Also, the lightest I've ever had my hair and I love it, I think it's so pretty. But also, I'm just like looking in the mirror and I'm like, who is she? Who is she? Yes, yeah, so needed to tell you that little less important snippet, but I wanted to of course come on here on my channel and kind of give you guys a little update. Also in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the video where I find out. So let me just give you guys a tiny little update in case you are just finding this out like right this second. But I found out I was pregnant on November 16th. The first video that I filmed and put onto YouTube where I knew I was pregnant was my cinnamon roll recipe video. And I feel like I did get a few comments on that video being like, I feel like Kristen, like there's something different about Kristen. I was like, what, how do they even think that I'm pregnant when I just found out I was pregnant and I did not think I was pregnant. But anyways, you guys like started to think maybe I was pregnant and then a few vlogs and stuff went by. I didn't really hear anything, but I feel like the last two videos I put up, you guys were noticing that I was like a little bit out of breath and I was so scared that you guys were going to find out and I was going to like oust myself before, you know, we finished telling all of our friends and family because it is just like the biggest secret to hold in and I just felt like any time I was posting on social media, I was just thinking, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, but I was like still posting all my normal stuff and I do feel like I went a little bit more MIA than I normally am on social media, especially on Instagram, but um, I'm so happy that you guys finally know and honestly, we were just getting like the nicest comments in the whole world and if you guys want to hear more of the backstory about finding out we're pregnant, all that kind of stuff, we posted a video on our joint channel. I'll link that video down below. Here's what my belly looks like. I'm currently wearing like this dress, but I have these leggings on. Here's what my belly looks like. Just a little bump, nothing too big. But this video today, I mainly wanted to make it to show you guys the video where I find out for the first time that I'm pregnant. And throughout our whole marriage, I would say, I get worried that I'm pregnant. I'm like, am I pregnant? Like, I have had a few different pregnancy scares. I would say probably like six or seven. And maybe not the word pregnancy scare is the best thing, but just like you think, am I pregnant? And am I pregnant? I like, I'm late to my period, whatever. So every time I do that and I take a test, I always film my reaction because I just always think the one day that I maybe am pregnant, I'll want that reaction on video. So I have a few videos that maybe I can find on my phone, but I don't know, they might be too buried deep that I can put here of like old reaction videos to where I'm finding out if I'm pregnant or not. But of course, I wasn't pregnant. Oh, she's pregnant. We're just gonna she's test it and see. The only reason is because I'm five days late and babies. And I feel tired and nauseous, but that just could be a lot of reasons. Okay, I'm going to check. I'm not. I'm not. So let me just give you a little backstory before I play the video. Um, I did not think I was pregnant this time around. I was fully convinced I was not pregnant, even though I was technically late to my period. All my life, my period has been so irregular, so it's not really the best way to tell if I'm pregnant or not is by the way my period is coming, you know what I'm saying? So I did not think that I was pregnant and Lexi kept saying, go take a pregnancy test, go take a pregnancy test. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this darn pregnancy test. I was like, let me just film it because I always film whenever I take a pregnancy test. 
And um, so here is the video. Ugh, I'm annoyed with myself for even doing this, filming this, because I feel like every month I think I'm pregnant. But you know what? I am 11 days late to my period. So I'm gonna take a pregnancy test because you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So pee on the stick, wait three minutes, and then you know. Okay, I'm gonna pee on the stick and then wait three minutes and I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, it's been three minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I need, oh my God, I think I'm gonna pass out. No, 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 this can't be real. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, 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 Oh my gosh. No, no, no. No. I'm not pregnant. This cannot be real. Oh my gosh. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. This cannot uh, be real. Oh. I'm taking another test. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so sorry, but this cannot be real. This is, I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my God. No, no, no. It's, it's happy, but it's like, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Pregnant, not pregnant. Pregnant, oh. I cannot be pregnant right now. There's no way. I have to take another test. Oh my gosh. There's really no way I'm pregnant. Like, I'm serious. There's no way. What is that? It says that. This has an error. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Why is there an error? I'm dipping this in pee. I'm just gonna guess this is a crazy accident that this has made. I've had these pregnancy tests in my drawer for like five days and I just am not, have I haven't been taking them so I'm like, I know I'm not pregnant, it's a waste of a pregnancy test. <sighs> I need to calm down. I need to go pray. I found these. I have to pee so bad. Okay. This this test is weird. It's like pink. 
Let me take a few more of these before I think I'm pregnant. So that was me finding out for the first time that I was pregnant and Marcus was not home. And it was just, it was like the most unexplainable feeling knowing that you're pregnant but you're the only person in the whole world that knows that you're pregnant. And you can see in the video, it's not like a, maybe like a normal reaction for a positive pregnancy test because I feel like it's different if you've been trying to get pregnant you're almost like anticipating that moment when you find out that you're pregnant and it's positive and it's like, oh my gosh, and crying and like so excited. Guys, I would have bet a million dollars that I wasn't pregnant. That's how sure I was that I wasn't pregnant. That's why I was just like, no, 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 no. How is this possible? It wasn't even that I was upset that I was pregnant. It was just like, this cannot be real. It's like the most shocked feeling you could ever feel in your whole life. And I literally went on to take seven different pregnancy tests. I think I took like four that night. I kept chugging water to get more pee out of me. And then the next day I took three more pregnancy tests. All of them were super positive, except I think I did film one that was like, I think there was an error on the pregnancy th test. I don't think I peed enough on it, so it was like, couldn't read if I was pregnant or not. Maybe some of you can relate to this if you've had an unplanned pregnancy, but you just feel so shocked that like the joy doesn't set in till a few days later because you're still so in disbelief and still so shocked. And now I fully feel so joyful, obviously. I feel so excited, but it really did take me a few days for that shock to wear off of me and then to like accept it. Because it was almost like I was in denial. I was like, there's no way this is possible. And I don't want to really go into detail, but we were taking precautions to not get pregnant. So just, I'll leave that up to your own imagination, but we really were not trying to get pregnant. That's all I'll say. But now it's like, I couldn't even imagine it any other way. All I have to say is God's timing is so perfect and um, there has been some crazy things happen along the way of this pregnancy that maybe I can talk to you guys about in another video. I was so honestly kind of nervous to show you guys my reaction video. I was like, maybe I just shouldn't even show this because you know, I wasn't sobbing like a lot of the people do when they find out that they're pregnant. But um, that was my genuine reaction and maybe some of you can also relate to just that feeling of just like, how is this possible? We also have Marcus's reaction on video. I told him the next morning and I filmed it. So we will put his reaction video on our channel probably in the next couple of days. And then we also of course have all of our family and friends reactions that maybe we'll compile into one video. But I think that's one of the most fun parts of being pregnant, especially at first, is getting to tell all your friends and family because it's just so funny the different ways that everyone reacts. Also, I am very, very thankful that I have all of you to share this process and journey and experience with. I know so many of you out there are either pregnant or already have kids or maybe you're not in that stage of life yet but you just like to follow along and I'm just really happy I get to share this whole experience with you guys. It feels like I have a huge community of really supportive friends and family in real life and online. So it's just the best feeling ever. I love you guys. If you want to kind of stay up to date day to day, I would make sure to follow me over on Instagram because I'm always updating you guys on stories. So I will put this little uh, name right here, just Kristen Johns. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I love you guys. I will see you very soon. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.